Hey there, Sharon Horn Ultimate here. Brought my great graphics with me on my trip. Today we're talking about, welcome to today, 298 of the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. And we're talking about step one of our goals process. The one we identified in January, we went through like 15, 20 different goal type frameworks to look at and decide what would be the best process for us. And we came up with our seven step process. The first step of which we're talking about today, our contribution goal process step one is What's your story? What's your current story? And what's your desired story? So step one is our C to D story. And today we're taking the approach of a storyteller, literally a storytelling approach to identifying what our current story is and then identifying what our desired story is. Our current story, we're going to use SWOT analysis. What are the strengths in, okay, first off, we have to decide what contribution goal are we going to apply this seven step framework to? Uh, I haven't decided mine yet. I'm going to have to decide over the course of today so that I can tell myself. And we're going to think of it as if we're writing the first chapter of a book. And our current story is the first chapter of that book. And our desired story is the final chapter of that book. What do we want our contribution goal to look like when we've achieved it versus where we are right now? So we might be identifying some of the strengths and weaknesses that we have or opportunities and threats in terms of where we are right now. What challenges are we facing? So for example, say you want to start a nonprofit for helping underprivileged children. You might say, okay, well, I don't have experience in this. I don't really know what to do. So that's kind of an, an obstacle or a, a, an area that we need to work on. I don't have the funding available to start a nonprofit. I don't have, and you'll be thinking about all the challenges and all the things you don't have. But then as we're writing our desired story, we're saying, and we're seeing and we're feeling the feelings we feel, just like when we're doing the uh, the Power Vision movie, we're imagining and writing our last, our desired story, our last chapter, how we want it to be. So we see ourselves with smiling children that we've successfully helped to achieve what it is that they want via our nonprofit organization. So we're running this successful, super duper successful, popular nonprofit organization, and we're happy and we're feeling all the feelings we want to feel by having done that thing. So our current to our desired story, that helps to determine the gap between where we are and where we wanna be. And we'll use the rest of the framework and the rest of the process to fill in that gap, to help us achieve the goal that we set for ourselves. So that's just one example. Uh, I, again, I haven't picked mine yet, so I'm using an example. If you need help with this, just like always, you can go to guide 17, where there's a write-up in our get up and get up and go challenge private Facebook group, or you can search in the sidebar and find all kinds of examples of this story. How do you tell our story? And you'll find it in the soap framework because it's a similar story current to desire we use in the soap framework. So when you search that, you'll get dozens and dozens of examples and results, different storytelling tools and story framing tools to help you to write your current story and your desired story for this particular goal. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow for step two of our goal setting process. And we're going to be smart about it. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.